Hey, what's up guys? Camp and Rusher here. Welcome back everybody to another Fortnite video. A big one today. Twitch has just had a massive leak where we have a lot revealed. Things about Fortnite, things just about general Twitch streamers and Fortnite streamers, how much money they make. It, it, it's pretty interesting and, I, and we're going to have a discussion about it. We've also got uh, Sloan. What's her plan this season? Is the Redacted Bunker getting involved? I think so. And then Squid Game times Fortnite. Lots to talk about. Let's go. First, Twitch's tweet. We can confirm that a breach has taken place. Our teams are working with urgency to understand the extent of this. We will update the community as soon as additional information is available. Thank you for bearing with us. So first, this is uh, it, it's a massive breach. All right. We, we've got payouts of all the different streamers. We've got leaked plans that Amazon and Twitch have in the future. Uh, first, though, if you have a Twitch account, Change your password, all right? Same as yesterday with the Facebook, uh, the internet breach, or two days ago, whenever that was. Uh, change your password, all right? That's the first thing. Change your password. You want to be super secure. Always you use an authenticator rather than two-step. Authenticator is always more safe. All right, there's the... Uh, there's the take care of yourself speech. Let's take a look at this list. This list indicates total payout from subscribers on Twitch from August 2019 until October 2021. All right, so just over two years in length. Now, uh, yeah, you can see it. Uh, the top one critical role. I don't know all these guys, but $10 million American. <laughs> There's some big numbers here, all right? These numbers will shock some of you. Tifu, 5.2 million. Nick Merckx, 5. Uh, Tim the Tapman, 3.2. Tyler, 1, 2.5 million. Uh, let's look at some Fortnite guys on the next page. Uh, Clicks, for example, 1.8 million. And, and it, it, the list goes on. Ninja, 1.3. Now, I don't know, do these numbers shock a lot of you guys? Let me know in the comment section right off the bat. Um, uh, yeah, of course, this is just subs, remember. This is not all. And um, I want to know your opinion. As a YouTuber, here's my perspective, Twitch streamers work their butt off. They always have to be on, right? As a YouTuber, I get to come on, make some videos, upload the video, and then I get, you know, tonight, I get to go have dinner with my family and enjoy my night while the video's out there. You guys are watching it. You're watching it right now. I'm probably eating dinner, right? <laughs> but for the streamers, if they're not on, they're not making money. They're not growing, especially for the little guys. Remember, these are the big guys. Twitch is saturated. YouTube is saturated. The little guys don't make anything, but... If you get up there, it obviously pays well. This doesn't include their donations, their sponsorship deals, the, the, the YouTube revenue, the sponsorship deals on YouTube, right? That's the other beauty for Twitch guys is you hire a guy that just puts all your stuff on YouTube. YouTube pays pretty well too. The pay structure is just so different on YouTube and Twitch, it's hard to, to compare, but uh, at least for videos and, and streaming, right? They're just so different. But it all adds up. That's the point. And I, I don't know. Like a lot of this stuff is public. Like you could have probably, you could ca calculate. That was just subscriber numbers. So you can calculate that for anyone who has their subscribers public, however many subs they have times the average price and then what percent they get of the of the subscriber cut. So I don't know. I want to hear your thoughts. This is a pretty big leak. There's some guys making some big money. I just want to reiterate one more time. There are a lot of guys making no money. And I'm not saying that to make fun of those people or anything like that. I'm just saying, yes, it pays so well, but it is hard to get there. All right. Like the, the guys who made it, they made it. But yeah, if, if you don't have if you don't have a certain amount of support, you could stream 50 hours. You could work your butt off and you can't pay the bills, right? There's such just a discrepancy. Some Fortnite news though, that can be found in the Twitch uh, in this Twitch leak. Amazon Twitch is working on a competitor for Steam. That basically means another store next to Steam and the Epic Game Store. The launcher will apparently have some kind of game specific support for Fortnite. So yeah, uh, Fortnite will be on this for sure. We'll be on the, it looks like because of that last point that China made. So, yeah, we don't know anything. Uh, we were all looking for Twitch Prime packs, right? That's I was hoping we'd get a leak as soon as I th saw this Fortnite news brain turned on. Where's where's our next Twitch Prime pack, right? Those were a big deal way back when. Uh, it's been so many years now. I wonder if they'll ever come back. But nothing on that, unfortunately. Yesterday, the shop, we got Frankenstein and the new Cuddle Scream leader. The card was also flipped, of course. Thanks to everyone using code the camp and rusher, by the way, for purchasing these skins. Two cool looking skins. 
And with that though, remember in the last video, we talked about the real life battle bus being set up at, at Universal. And also when new skins come out for Fort Nightmares, they are going to have cosplay, right? Real life dudes in costumes at Universal. So there, there's our, uh, our Cuddle Scream Leader. Is it Curdle Scream Leader? Maybe it is Curdle Scream Leader. I thought I mis I thought it was mistyped. I've seen two people mistype that now. We're just gonna roll with it. I don't know what it is. <laughs> you know you know who I'm talking about. Maybe uh, the R key is just super co close to the D key on the keyboard. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. That would, uh, what do you do? Do you hug this thing? Do you do you run away from it at Universal? I'm not too sure. This, this, this one's a funny one though. It's a cool thing they're doing. I don't know, I'm okay with it. So yeah, that, those were our new cards that were fixed. We'll talk a little bit more about some other cards soon. Upcoming XP buff for shared and NPC quests. Plan to roll out later today. And you can see common, 500 to 2500, 525 to 26. Big buffs, really big buffs. That's the point. Also, we have dates for all of the Chapter 2 Season 8 cash cups. Uh, I got them up there for you every Sunday. And then we've actually talked about these already, but it puts, puts it all in one place. Just so you got it. I, I link everyone down below if you want to go save this. But uh, yeah, you can see it in your compete tab as well. All right, here's a breakdown of yesterday. We talked about all the cards that were shown to us so far. And we were going through what we thought. Here's just a great infographic kind of summarizing everything we talked about. Uh, FN Assist pulled this off. Just really helpful to see what we were all talking about, right? Even the ones that were partly covered at the bottom, Stitches and Sewing, Goo and Lightning, Bat Spider Monster, Bat Skin, and then the, another Cube Skin, right? Just some hints on pieces of the cards that we can actually see. So I thought that was cool. We, we talked about all this yesterday, but keep it up there for a second. And then uh, another one we didn't talk about was this. And it uh, looks like we're gonna get another style or another skin for Sanctum. And then also in the battle bus, the real life battle bus image uh, that, that we saw, there was actually some cards that were included in that image, uh, just that were at Universal or whatever, that we haven't seen yet. So it, it's pretty low quality and we don't have too many answers to these. I'm just showing it off. Some stuff from the comments based on what you're seeing. I know it's hard to see. Uh, two cubes in different colors. Uh, the scythe is a skull trooper one we've seen. Another scythe possibly with a new style. And then uh, a character, people are guessing possibly uh, Jack Skellington's hands. Uh, good guess, good guess. And then a Bellaclava, possibly for a new raptor skin. And then Phantom of the Opera is another guess. People are just chucking things out there. We got the comment section open. Let me know down below what you think, if you've got any guesses. Uh, but I think we had to try and go through them, even though they're super hard to make up, uh, make out. But we'll, uh, yeah, if I get updates or we figure it out, I'll of course let you know. All right, next year, a big one on Reddit. And it's from Dusky Lops. Guy helps me a lot with thumbnails. He's got a heck of a theory here. And it's based on Sloan. All right, here it is. Theory, Sloan is making her way to the redacted bunker and is using the stolen alien tech to build a weapon or maybe even IO branded cubes to fight the alien cubes. Now, wouldn't that be funny, right? If they, are you gonna, how do you control these cubes? That's what I'm trying to understand. We're all trying to understand. So first, yeah, what a good guess. We know Sloan and her convoy are on her way to on their way to something right and he's got the he showed the path there while i was talking i put the path on your your screen so there's a good chance right there is a good chance it, it's on the way to the redacted bunker we've been waiting for this thing for so long right it's gotta it has to do something before the end of this chapter it just has to whether that's a weapon honestly the weapon would be cool i think it'd be even cooler if they found a way to to brand some of their their cubes and, and then it's a cube versus cube fight <laughs> Uh, you know, that's just, I always think, how, how's the next event going to be better? How's it going to just blow my mind? That would be mind-blowing, right? Just just some cool mechanic that only could happen in Fortnite and the battle of the cubes, right? Cubes going at each other, different colored cubes. I don't even know how they would fight. It would be epic. That's my point. I'm just visualizing it in my head as I talk. I guess we'll wait and see. I'm excited about that. The final thing I got for you here is uh, a, a TikTok post. All from the official Fortnite TikTok. Here it is. Mm. 
And if you've seen the show, you obviously know what that is. It's uh, Squid Game. All right, Squid Game. Now, are they going to do a collab? If so, how fast would it happen? I mean, this this Squid Game is is viral, right? Like, it is so viral, so popular, being talked about, trending on Twitter every day. So it would be in any game's interest to do a collaboration. Uh, the, the thing is, though, would they do an official collaboration or would they build a mode like Among Us that, that isn't actually an official Among Us collab? It could go either way. But I hope they do it quickly, and I hope they do some sort of collab for it. They obviously know it exists. It's been mentioned here. Whether it's a teaser or not, we'll have to wait and see. Thanks for watching. Take care. Talk soon. Touch that like button. Subscribe. Goodbye.